Hey everyone, my name is Keizo. Welcome to the video. In this video, I want to talk about five lessons I have learned in the past five years as a software developer. So this September marks my fifth year anniversary as a software developer. Five years ago, I came out of university with a degree in uh, organizational sciences and I started working at a bank as a COBOL developer. So now, five years later, I work at a different organization as a Java developer and I want to share some lessons with you that I've learned along the way. So the first lesson is don't be afraid to lean into the junior developer role. Right when you're starting out is the perfect opportunity to take that junior role and actually use it to your benefit. You can get away with a lot of questions you might think are a bit dumb or silly or they make you a little bit uncomfortable to ask by just saying, hey, I just started working here two months ago and uh, I really don't know how this works or whatever. Could you please help me with this and that? And a point that ties into this nicely is not only to ask questions and keep asking questions using that junior role, but also to start building your network. Just introduce yourself to everyone and, and start building a valuable network within your organization that you can use and rely on. My second tip is to prioritize your learning. So find out what subjects are relevant and what subjects are less relevant to invest your time in right now. Find out what you need to know to get productive as soon as possible. When I started my current position, my knowledge of Java was very limited and next to Java you also have to learn Maven and JUnit and Git and how an application server works and Java EE with EJBs and all this stuff. It's very overwhelming and it's, it's a huge list of subjects you need to get comfortable with. But what I would recommend is just pick a couple subjects, focus your time on that and then you can always deep dive into the more difficult or the less relevant subjects later. So for me that meant focusing on Java and focusing on Maven and Git to learn the basics and whenever somebody asked me hey how does this remote EJB here work then I would just say I have no idea I just use the add EJB annotation and the application server takes care of it. All those subjects you can postpone till a later date and then deep dive into those subjects later. My third lesson is learn to break down the big problems. So Coding is one skill, but problem solving is a separate skill entirely. When you're trying to code a tricky piece of software or solve a particular problem, instead of thinking for hours, just try to break it down into smaller chunks. And then next you could write pseudocode for each of these chunks and then slowly transform that pseudocode into actual code. And then you could rewrite the code and rewrite the code. I use this approach a lot in my work and my goal is not really to deliver very elegant code or ultra performant code, but what I want is to solve a problem. That is my job as a software developer. And by iterating through this go code, you will develop a better solution and you will also learn a lot. My fourth lesson is a bit cliche, but it's just that mistakes are okay as long as you learn from them. Every developer in his career will push go to production that will break and you will be called late at night or on a Sunday afternoon or whatever. And yeah, there, something's broken and you will have to fix it. It has happened to me as well. It's best to just not shy away and just take responsibility. Say, hey, I did that, I made a mistake. And then learn from it and make sure not to do it again. It sucks that it happened. You might feel bad, but take that bad situation and turn it around and make it a valuable learning experience for you. My fifth lesson is that you are never too senior for stupid questions. So this one ties in a bit with the first lesson, but I just noticed with myself that after a couple years, I get more anxious when asking questions and thinking, oh, maybe I should know this by now. But no, you're never too senior to ask a stupid question. Other people might have the same question or your question might spark up a discussion which would be useful for the team, or you could just have a separate idea entirely, which could also be helpful for, for the team and the product you're working on. And lastly, I have a bonus tip in the wise words of Mr. Rogers, that is, look for helpers. So in every organization, you find individuals with a, the rare combination of having vast amounts of knowledge, but also the incredible skill to explain complicated concepts and, and share that knowledge with you. And also they are willing to help. So these people might not necessarily be inside your team, but when you find one, just make sure to haunt them for questions 
or you could even like formalize an arrangement and ask them to be your mentor in this regard. In both companies I've worked for, I have found these persons that could help me and I've learned a lot from them. They really made me a better developer. Okay, that was it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and maybe let me know in the comments if you have any lessons from your past experiences uh, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.